In this video, we're going to do a vlogging tour around West Bremerton. We're going to start right here. This is the Naval Base Kitsap main gate right behind me. And we're going to tour all the way around through West Bremerton. So stay tuned for our vlogging tour. What's up everybody, it's Cassandra Lopez with the Living in Bremerton channel. If you're new to the channel, be sure and subscribe and tap that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a weekly video. And honestly, I get calls all the time from people who are relocating to Bremerton from somewhere else in the country or the world. And they wanna know what it's like to live in Bremerton. They've never been here before. They wanna know what it's like to um, stay, eat, play, work, all that stuff in Bremerton. So if that's you, be sure to subscribe, tap the little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And right now we're in the middle of our Around Town series. So we're hitting up West Bremerton today. So stay tuned. On First Street, right outside the Naval Base, Naval Base Kitsap Bremerton. This road we're turning on here, this is Burwell. Burwell is one of the main east-west arterials um, through West Bremerton or downtown Bremerton right outside the base. We're heading east. We're heading towards the ferry terminal. So like if we were to keep going straight on this, we would go right to the ferry terminal. Really, really old part of town here. Bermudan PD is coming up here on the right. these side roads aren't they haven't been plowed this is all just compacted snow so this movie theater on the right hand side this is sea film it's a pretty cool theater all this is just parking for shipyard now we're on park avenue coming up here on the left is the marvin williams center so marvin williams um if you're familiar he played for the nba and he went to Bremerton High School. That's kind of like our little claim to fame. Among other things, of course, like the Navy and all that. This is 11th Street. And we're gonna turn back onto Warren Avenue, headed north. So this would take us to the Warren Avenue Bridge. But we're not gonna go that far. We are going to take a left right up here and loop into Olympic College. This is the Olympic College campus. Lots of cool programs here. They have a great nursing program. They have a lot of vocational studies. course all of your prereqs and um, you know 101 type classes it does not have any like dorms or anything so you would need to find housing elsewhere more of OC on the left here and then right here we have Bremerton High School so Bremerton High School and OC are literally neighbors. We're on 13th Street right now. This is High Avenue, crossing over. I can't remember if when I shot this video, if today was a, a non-student day. I think we were still on winter vacation. So we had uh, two weeks of winter vacation back on 11th Street here. 
two weeks of winter vacation and then the first three days back to school were closed because of snow days. <laughs> so my kids got an extra long winter break. Which is quite comical because it didn't even snow those three days. It was just still existing snow and compacted snow and apparently the buses were having a hard time. Turning on to Kitsap Way. This is where it gets a little bit more commercial. A lot of businesses, restaurants on the left there, coffee shops, of course the national chains. So there's the McDonald's and there's the Jiffy Lube and there's the O'Reilly's, Ace Hardware, all that stuff. I didn't realize until after I shot this like how dirty my windshield got just from the cars in front of me kicking up all the stuff from the road. I should have wiped them off, sorry. So on the right hand side here behind all these businesses like goes down a big hill and there's actually like waterfront homes and condos and stuff down there because right on the other side of that those buildings is Oyster Bay. Coming up to Highway 3, which we're not going to turn on. cemetery here on the left so if you live up here you'll have really quiet neighbors turning here this is NAD Park I didn't name it, they didn't run it by me first. It's an acronym for something. It's NAD, I just can't remember what it stands for. But anyway, huge disc golf course right there. So if you're into disc golfing, that's one of the great places in Bremerton to do it. The other place is um, up in Central Kitsap by the fairgrounds. So now we're on Austin Drive. All this on the right hand side is all military housing. So if you're stationed here and you're active duty, this is all housing. Um, it goes forever, it's so pretty large. And then um, they have their own elementary school and recreational center, all that good stuff. I think that's the rec center. That's either the school or the rec center on the right. And this is the hospital right here. So you turn in there, go to the hospital, Naval Hospital Bremerton. My firstborn was born there. This is Erland's Point. Going under Highway 3. We do a lot of zigzagging back and forth around the highway. Just the way, just the route I took. Did that. One of my favorite joints up here on the left hand side. This is the 19th hole. It's it backs up against the Kids Up Golf Country Club. And so you know, it's aptly named, the 19th hole. They have great food, great music. It's, kind of, it's a pretty fun environment. North Lake Way here on the right, so that takes you out to Seabeck. And then here's the country club on the left. It's a public golf course, so you don't need to be a member. So this is Chico Way. And it turns into Kids Up Way up here after a while. This is Red Apple Market and then Big Apple Diner on the left. Big Apple Diner's really cool. It's one of those super old 50s diners. They've got like the carousel with all the desserts in it. So now we're back on Kitsap Way, just turned into Kitsap Way. Nad Park on the left, this is all the disc golf course. If you took a right um, and went up this hill right here, you would be heading to Kitsap Lake. So I encourage you to follow along on Google Maps to just kind of get your orientation. 
So coming back down this big hill that we came up, cemetery on the right now. turn on an auto center way. This building right here on the corner on the right, this is a Kitsap Builders Association. I have several colleagues who are members there. It's kind of fun to get the inside scoop on what's going on. More of an industrial part of town, so there's like the bus barn. There are several warehouses for this and that. This business on the left is the detailer, so if you ever need your car detailed, they do a great job. And here's where some of the auto dealers start. So we have Nissan and Hyundai down here. But then we also have like Minder Meats, which is a local farm, but this is their warehouse right here on the right. So if you want to, you could like buy, you know, a cow or a half a cow or whatever. So this is um, Loxie Egan's State Patrol office right here on the right, the local one. And up this hill, West Hills Auto Com Complex, or Autoplex, my apologies. Um, that's where you have like tons of dealers. So going back over the freeway now. I got stuck behind all these guys making a left turn. No thanks. This is National Avenue. On the right hand side, there's West Hill STEM Academy. It's public school. It used to just be called West Hills Elementary and then they re reconfigured it into a STEM Academy. These roads were so crazy when I was driving them. Thank goodness for Subarus, huh? If you have a Subaru, you know what I'm talking about. This whole neighborhood right here is West Hills. Does not get a lot of sun. Um, obviously you can tell by the roads and all the snow around still. So it was pretty, pretty compacted, fairly icy. And then you go down this 45 degree hill. That's Puget Sound Naval Shipyard right in front of us. That blue building is one of the barracks buildings. Where did you come in Naval? The Naval Gate. Oh, you can kind of see Mount Rainier off to the right there a little bit. Now we're on Wyckoff. That family was sledding down that hill. This is where Kitsap Way turns into 6th Street. So if you took a left, you would be on Kitsap Way. If you took a right, you'd be on 6th Street. U-Haul, this is where you'd get your U-Haul. A couple of industrials type businesses around. This is 11th Street we're driving under. We're still on Wyckoff. Hales Ales on the left, tap room and, and restaurant, and that little blue building was High Lowe's Restaurant. And they are only open for breakfast, and they have some of the best breakfast in town. Tiny little joint. There's you, They actually rented out the space next door to the restaurant as a waiting room because so many people were having to wait outside because the line's wrapped around the block because it's such a small place. And they have a VW bus outside that they converted into seating. And so there's like tables and chairs in there and stuff. So you can eat your breakfast in the VW bus. So it's kind of fun. We're on 15th. I 
It's Bremerton High School. So we just came around the other side. High Avenue. This is 11th Street. This neighborhood, like around here, these were all built kind of the 40s, 30s, 40s. This is 6th Street. Taking a left onto Naval. Bar, bar, liquor store, tattoo shop. Must be right outside a naval base. That's a wrap. A little comment in the uh, chat there and I'll be sure to respond. If there's a video that you would like to see that I haven't done yet, please leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to do that for you. And until the next video, see you later.